Welcome back to Living It Away. The Kau Coffee Mill on Hawaii Island has flourished and become one of the leading vendors for coffee in the state, thanks to its partnership with the Department of Agriculture. Having the seal of quality assures customers the product is Hawaii grown, Hawaii made, and at elevation and the way it's grown makes it so special. Mm -hmm. A total of about 8,000 acres, but Kau Coffee Mill sits on 1,700 acres, and it is good. Joining me now on Living It Away, Louis Daniele in sales and marketing, and owner Ed Olson. Thank you guys for being with us on uh, Living It Away. Tell me, the coffee's good. Thank you for letting me have some. <laughs> uh, but tell me what the difference is, because Kau Coffee is a little bit higher elevation up here. Does that make a difference? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, the elevation uh, makes a big difference uh, in how our coffee uh, is uh, grown. Uh, certainly, the southern exposure gives our beans a little harder quality. Our soil types, uh, we have great soils here. We have ash based soils, which other regions don't have. So we have 2 to 55 feet of this stuff, which, wow. which makes our coffee uh, really grow very well. Kau is known for high quality sugar and high yields of sugar coming out of here. And uh, the same has translated into our coffee. So very high quality uh, coffee coming out of here and very high yields also. Perfect. Hey, Ed, tell me why you started this whole thing. Why is this thing, why is Kau Coffee here? Well, uh, we had this property that we'd bought from the old brewer company. Uh, I was very fortunate, I was able to come in and buy many thousands of acres. And then I says, I want to put it back to work. I want to provide some employment for the, for the former sugar workers in this area. And there were coffee farmers here who were displaced sugar workers, but the coffee mostly went up to Kona and got mixed into the Kona. And I said, you know, this is good coffee on its own. It should have its own coffee mill, its own product to be sold. So I put this mill together, and it's worked out very well for it. You guys are a part of a program that I'm sure helps you, as it does many other programs, the seal of quality from, you know, Hawaii-grown, Hawaii-made products, the Department of Agriculture. How has this program helped you guys? Yeah, so, you know, from a sales standpoint, uh, any time that you can just add that extra uh, in there uh, to help people realize that this product is fully grown in Hawaii, fully manufactured in Hawaii, uh, the Seal of Quality program has, has helped us tremendously. Uh, you know, people uh, expect really high quality material coming out of here, uh, and that seal of quality just helps them to recognize uh, the very high quality coffee that is in every bag. What is your procedure for, you know, quality, for your seal of quality? What is that? Well, it really starts uh, fundamentally from when we pick the the red, uh, red cherry off the trees. Uh, everything is hand picked here. It starts off with how we pick the, the coffee initially. We only pick it when it's completely ripe. Uh, from there, we process that coffee every single evening, uh, and so we don't let that sit around. Uh, we dry it, uh, and we're monitoring how we dry it uh, and how we store it. Um, then from there, there's milling uh, that we do, and then finally, uh, in the roastery. Uh, and so all of those uh, aspects of the coffee industry uh, in what we do here at Kogu Coffee Mill, um, you know, we, we keep to a very high standard. And so all of that gets translated into our coffee. And again, the seal of quality is just another reinforcement uh, of that. And I want to ask you real quick, what is Kau Coffee Mill doing for sustainability? For sustainability, well, one thing, we're trying to become very green here, especially in the areas of energy production. We have a huge reservoir, 3,000 feet elevation. From there, we get water from the Noguchi Tunnel, about a two-mile trip from the tunnel to the reservoir. And then we bring it down the hill, and then we have what we call our green energy plant. We have a water turbine that will produce enough electricity to feed all our operations here on the farm, the coffee mill, the husking plant, the machine shop and have enough leftover electricity to light up 40% of the town of Pahal. So we are really a green enterprise at this point. Well, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for producing great coffee and 
not just coffee, but macadamia nuts, too. And maybe we'll talk about that in another segment. But thank you so much for uh, being with us on Living It Away. Great. Thank you Appreciate so much. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. First of all, um, I would never was a coffee drinker until just a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then I have a little bit of coffee with my creamer. Uh, but, <laughs> boy, their coffee and the flavors that they have are Delicious. so good. And when you walk into their shop, the aroma of all the different flavors are just amazing. And you just, you're getting it fresh right there, right from the land. And when you visit them, they have, you can taste all the little coffees. It's, it's, it's great. You can taste little sips of uh, all the different ones and make sure that you like it. That's awesome. Yeah, it really oh, is. Coffee milk. Co oh, coffee milk. Love it's it. great. Yeah.